There are many dangers in Afghanistan. Landmines are nothing out of the ordinary. First step is finding them. And one way to do that is to have a mine detection dog. Uh, MWD Mike, uh, he's a military working dog. It's actually, uh, he's actually a mine detection dog. Uh, well, I'm saving lives. You know, that's the biggest, biggest thing here, uh, bringing people home. Deployment is hard enough, here. but hey. deploying with a small group, including your dog, can get a little hairy. Being deployed by yourself with a dog is actually, it's actually kind of rough. I mean, you you have to take care of yourself, and I'm like I said, I'm a specialist, so I actually have to kind of man up and. You know, I, whether it's talking to captains, majors, colonels, uh, how, how, I mean, how I need to work. I just, it's kind of rough, you know. To be able to complete a successful mission and go home safely, everything depends on the relationship you have with the person closest to you, which happens to be a dog. He's my best friend away from my wife. I mean, he's the person that's going to, he's, I mean, I consider him a person, but he's the person that's going to bring me home. I mean. He's out in front of me, so I gotta, I gotta be his best friend. And he's gotta be my best friend. Yeah, I would, uh, adopting Mike after he retires, whether it's this deployment or next deployment, um, it's something I want to do. I mean, he's done his, he's served his country just like I have, and uh, I think it'd be a great thing to bring him home to my family. Specialist Crystal Madrid, Kandahar, Afghanistan.